Madam Speaker, uh, the amendment as amended members uh, gives a directive to the Minnesota Attorney General uh, to challenge the federal government's authority under the Constitution of the United States under interstate commerce to force individuals to buy health care. Under the health care bill that passed last night, members, there is a, uh, a forced penalty on all citizens in the United States, uh, forcing them to uh, buy health insurance if they do not. Uh, according to the research summary that I received uh, this morning, uh, for every uninsured person in the United States after fully phased in, the federal health care bill will fine people in the United States who are uninsured $695 per person up to $2,085 per family or 2.5 percent of household income. The frightening part of this, members, is that they are putting the enforcement mechanism uh, the agency in charge of the enforcement is the IRS. The IRS is going to go after our constituents who may choose not to buy health insurance for whatever reason. Uh, members, this is something that attorney generals, uh, attorneys general across the United States are doing on their own. Uh, they are going to stand up for constituents in the United States that, uh, that are going to panel, be penalized once this bill is signed into law, and I think everyone in the room knows that's going to happen. And members, what happens if you don't pay the penalty? The same penalty applies to you as if you are not paying your taxes. So we are going to potentially have our constituents fined and perhaps jailed for not buying health insurance, low-income people in our districts who choose not to do it for whatever reason. So members, this is a big issue. It is not a small one. This amendment is paid for, and the incorporated amendment that I had, and Madam Speaker, I would ask for a roll call.